This is an interview with Kevin Locke on Wednesday, July 11, 2012 in Deadwood, South Dakota. When and where were you born? I was born in 1954, and I was born in California, and yeah. Who are your parents? Uh, my, my father's name is uh, Charles Locke, and my mom's name was uh, Patricia Locke. How did they influence your life? Uh, uh, I think, you know, my parents did their very best and they, you know, I learned, uh, I learned a lot from them that my, I think my, my parents were both, uh, uh, eager. They were both very intelligent. They're very, uh, well-educated people. They're very talented people. They, uh, enjoyed, uh, music and all kinds of things. So I think that they inspired me in, in many ways, both my parents. Who else inspired you as a child and as a young adult? Uh, as a child, and of course, a lot of teachers. And then as a young adult, outside of school, you know, I, I got a lot of... One thing, um, I was born in California, but I, I started school up this way. We just lived down there for a short, relatively short time. And so... Uh, I was I was really inspired as a young person by uh, uh, you know in terms of like a native culture I think by uh, uh, participating in activities and events and also uh, I'd say that also my my mom's dad was a uh, uh, very proficient very good as a singer he was a good singer and uh, I think that really inspired me quite a bit and other relatives as well. Yeah. My name is Ashton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me how you received your Lakota name? Uh, first of all, I'll, I'll say that name. It's, it's Tokahe Ainaji. Tokahe Ainaji. And I got that name from a, a lady that was uh, actually, I got that name in 1973. 72 or 73, one of those two years. Anyway, uh, the lady who gave me that name, her name was uh, Alice Mato. And she was uh, uh, my grandmother's, my mother's mother's uh, relative. And she uh, was actually older than my grandmother. And uh, she was uh, in her upper 90s when she, I think she passed away in 1975. And uh, so um, she was had a very special relationship with my grandmother, and so in that way, since my grandmother passed away, she wanted she wanted to give me a, a name, so that's why she gave me the name Tokahe Ainaji, means the first to arise, the first one to arise. And uh, my biggest regret on that name was that I never asked her before she passed away why she gave me that name. Never asked her. Um, now, I I can hardly ever sleep past five or six in the morning. That's one thing. I don't know if that's why. <laughs> but I literally am always the first one to get up. I usually get up before sun up every day. It doesn't matter summer. Of course, in the winter time, I get up long before sun up. Yeah. Why is the Lakota language important to you? I am, first of all, I want to mention that uh, I'm not a native Lakota speaker. You know, like, if you speak Lakota as a native, as a native language, it's your first language. But I, I just started learning it as a young adult, as a young adult. And uh, I was just interested because, uh, you know, uh, at my age, so, much, so many of the people uh, were, were not conversant in uh, English. And so I just felt like I was being left out. I didn't want to get left out. But uh, I found myself, this is just a, it's not one of your questions, but I found myself, I was virtually the only person in my peer group, in my people around, that was, that was interested in learning Lakota. And so I was just all by myself. I felt like I was swimming upstream. But now, I want to say, now it's really good because there are many, many younger people learning Lakota as a second language. So I'm what they call a second language learner. 
of the Lakota as opposed to a fluent native speaker. That's a little bit more than you asked, but. Was it illegal to speak Lakota? Yeah, oh yeah, it was, it was illegal for many generations. 